Hello, everyone. Welcome. In this lesson, we will introduce the wiring method of current transformer, structural type, and usage precautions covering three aspects. First, we will introduce the wiring method of current transformers. Current transformer in three phase circuits have four common wiring methods. Single phase wiring. This wiring is mainly used to measure the current of single phase loads or one phase current in a balanced three phase system, balanced load in a three phase system. Two phase V wiring. This wiring is also known as incomplete star wiring in 610 kV system without a grounded neutral point. It is widely used. The incomplete star wiring method forms a relay protection circuit that can protect against various phase to phase short circuits, but the sensitivity varies with different fold type. Compared to three phase star wiring, its sensitivity is lower. Two phase current differential wiring. This wiring method is usually applied in relay protection circuits. It can detect various phase to phase short circuit but with different sensitivities. Star wiring. This wiring can be used to measure balanced loads or unbalanced three phase power system, three phase current. Using three phase star wiring method, the relay protection circuit can ensure equal sensitivity to various faults, thus having higher reliability. Next, we will introduce the structure type of current transformers. The structure of a current transformer is similar to a double winding transformer composed of core and primary and secondary winding as the main part. According to the number of primary winding turn, it can be divided into single turn and multi-turn type, dry type transformer and cast insulation transformer. Dry type transformer are suitable for indoor low voltage transformers. This is a cast insulation current transformer structure. One is the primary winding. Two is the secondary winding. Three is the core. Four is the resin mixture. This is the structure of LDZ1-10, LDZJ1-10 type. Epoxy resin cast insulated single turn current transformer. This is the structure of LMZY 10, LMZD 1 10 type. Epoxy resin cast insulated single turn bus type current transformer. This is the structure of LFZB 10 type. Epoxy resin cast insulated with protection grade multi turn current transformer. This is the structure of LQZ 35 type. Epoxy resin cast insulated coil type current transformer. Oil immersed current transformer. For 35 kV and above, Outdoor current transformers are mostly of oil-immersed structure, mainly composed of the base body oil tank and porcelain bushing these four main components. Oil-immersed current transformers have two types of insulation structure classified as chain-type insulation and capacitive-type insulation. This is a diagram of the chain type insulation structure, where one is the primary lead support, two is the main insulation one, three is the primary winding, four is the main insulation two, five is the secondary winding. This is the U-shaped capacitive insulation principle structure diagram, where one is the primary conductor, 
Two is the high voltage shield. Three is the intermediate shield. Four is the ground shield. Five is the secondary winding. LCW one hundred and ten type outdoor oil immersed porcelain insulated current transformer. Where one is the porcelain housing, two is the transformer oil, three is the carriage, four is the expander, five is the ring core and secondary winding, six is the primary winding, seven is the porcelain bushing. Eight is the primary winding tap changer. Nine is the discharge gap. Ten is the secondary winding terminal. Inside the porcelain housing of this transformer is filled with transformer oil and fixed on a metal carriage. LCLWD three two hundred and twenty type outdoor porcelain tank current transformer. Where one is the oil tank, two is the secondary terminal box, three is the ring core and secondary winding, four is the clamp type fixing device, five is the primary winding, six is the porcelain bushing, seven is the grinding shield, eight is the oil conservator, nine is the primary winding switching device. Ten is the primary winding terminal. Eleven is the breather. L one hundred and ten type cascaded current transformer. This transformer is composed of two current transformers connected in series. The first stage is the high voltage part placed in oil filled porcelain bushing. The second stage is the low voltage part installed in the base. The secondary winding of the first stage is connected to the primary winding of the second stage as the power supply for the second stage. SF six gas insulated current transformers. SF six current transformer have two structural formers. One is used in combination of SF six. Electrical equipment, and the other is the standalone, commonly referred to as independent SF6 current transformer. This type of transformer is mostly made in an inverted structure. Finally, we will introduce the usage precaution of current transformer. When in use of current transformers, we must pay attention to the following points. During operation of current transformer, the secondary side must not be open circuited. To prevent the secondary side of the current transformer from being open circuited during operation and testing, it is stipulated that the secondary side of the current transformer is not allowed to have full use. Secondary equipment needs to be removed. It must first be short circuited with a wire or shorting block to short the secondary circuit. The secondary side of the current transformer must have one point grounded. The secondary side of the current transformer one point grounding is to prevent between the primary and secondary winding insulation breakdown high voltage from the primary side. Entering the secondary side, endangering that the safety of personnel and the secondary equipment. Current transformer during wiring, we must pay attention to the polarity of its terminal. During installation and use of the current transformer, the polarity of the terminal must be observed. Otherwise, the secondary instrument and relays will not have the expected current, which may cause protection malfunction, incorrect measurement, or damage to the instrument. Current transformer must ensure a certain level of accuracy to ensure accurate measurement and the proper operation of protection devices. The load. 
impedance of current transformer must not exceed the rated impedance corresponding to the accuracy class of the current transformer. This concludes our lesson. Thank you, everyone.